Hi everyone, my name is Mutiet Adebowale, founder and business coach at Creative Business Suite. So today, um, sequel to the post that I did on branding, there have been a number of questions popping up, people asking different questions. So I'm going to be treating those questions in separate videos and I'm going to start with today's video. Basically, um, the question I'm going to be answering regarding that today is how can I come up with my business values and is business value the same as personal values? Okay, to get right into that, how can I come up with my business values, your business values, your corporate values? Basically, there are different ways, a number of ways you can come up with your business values and whether business values and corp um, personal values are the same. Um, largely corporate values and personal values are kind of the same. The difference between corporate values and personal values is the fact that your corporate values are the deeply held beliefs about your business, about your organizations, what your organization stands for, while your personal values are your deeply held beliefs about yourself, your set guidelines about what you stand for and how you live your life and what times you live your life. That's So the difference is basically the corporate values are for corporate entities while personal values are for personal individuals. Basically that's the, the differences. And usually great corporate values have actually emerged from core personal values basically. Okay, so how can I come up with my, from, with my personal my business values how you can come up with your business values as i said um could, can happen in different ways but i'm just going to share two very practical examples of how you can come up with your um business values or your yeah, business value statement you know anyhow so one way is okay you imagine that you have um an assessment coming up or you have an award, you know, not a ceremony, but a judgment, a, an assessment, an inspection, not that one that's going to happen in your premises where you need to select, for example, 10 representatives from your organization who will be representing your organization, will be representing your brand before a panel of judges. And you need these people to stand up and speak for your organization and represent your organization and raise the value and raise the standard of your organizations. So imagine this is going to happen and you need 10 people. So what will you put in place? What will make this 10 people qualify to stand for you? What in their character, in their attributes, in their qualities that will make it, you know, exceptional for them to be chosen? Say you have 100 members of staff. And of these 100 members of staff, you need 10 people. So definitely there has to be some things unique to each person, right? Or there has to be something they are going to, to be saying, a statement they're going to be saying about your organization when they stand up for you, when they represent your organization. So write down 10 qualities that you want to see or that you believe these people will stand for which will in turn be the qualities and the values that your organization stand for. So when you write down 10 qualities, 10 characteristics, 10 exceptional things that you see, that you believe these people stand for, that will speak and raise the name of your organization, then these are part of the, you know, the value statement, these are part of the values that your organization believe in. Definitely for you to choose 10 people, there has to be something unique, exceptional about them. So for you to resonate with these qualities, definitely a part of you believes in that quality and wants to operate on that quality. And for that reason, these are the values that your organization stand for. That's one way for you to, you know, to come up. So imagine, and this is if, if you don't have staff members, you know, so you can put yourself in that imagining state. Another way you can do this again is you can imagine you're firing 
members of staff who've, who've not been doing well, not performing well. So again, take 10 people that you're going to be firing. Okay, what have they done? What makes them, you know, deserve being fired and sent out of job? So write these 10 things that they may have done, <laughs> the crime they may have committed. So 10 different things they may have done that you didn't like about them. You didn't like about the performance, about the, the way they handled their jobs. And then put these in a statement that, yes, you didn't like this. For example, if somebody you regularly came late, so that means they're not punctual. And this is a statement about them. It shows they're not orderly, they're not organised, they don't take control of the time and even control of their life. They may be clumsy, you know, all of these things. That is a statement about somebody who comes late to work, right? So what you do with that statement is you flip it over because you don't like what they stand for, then you flip it over. So what you flip it over will be what you like and what you stand for, and that is your business value. And that's your corporate value, part of your corporate values. So when you don't like the disorderliness, the not being organized, then when you flip it over, they possibly they're efficient, they take more control of their time, they're dedicated, they're committed. No matter what's gonna take them, make sure they get there in time. So these are the values that you stand for. So when you flip these negative things or these things they've done that you don't like about them, you flip it onto the other side, that's the positive side. These positive attributes become what you resonate with, what your values are, what you believe in, and what you intend for your organization to behave in and work on. So these will be your corporate, you know, values, okay? So these are the two ways you can come up. Apart from, you know, you can just ask yourself, what do you believe in personally? If you had a business, just, yes, what do you want your business to stand for? Right, so, but these practical examples will show you how to practically, you know, think about how to, to put your business values in place. And once you have your business value in place, just write your business value statement and, and go about that. You don't need to have 10, you know, in all, no. Take 10 and then depending on your your business, depending on your specialization, your industry, you take say five that are really, really relevant to what you do in terms of the services that you provide. Say you deliver products, you know, or you manufacture, depending on what you do, take five that are most relevant to the things that you do in your business, in your particular business, and then write your value statement from this one okay and yes and you're good to go because the because usually your value statement are the things that describe your organization and describe how your organization will believe behave so just write what describes your organization and what the how it will behave it will behave in an efficient way you know prompt delivery of service and this and that outstanding services delivery and all of that and then this will be your value statement Okay, and until next time, you keep being successful. Bye.